This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. To power the visuals of this app, Destiny's created several different eye and mouth images for the emojis. She created several extra random flare. Yep. So we have some data, at least we should. Bloop. Yep. Emoji data. Let me click on this. Eyes, mouth, extras. Let me zoom out. It looks like. Oh, no, no other columns. So we have this table of a bunch of data and we're going to want to save it into lists so we can make use of it in our app. Right now we have these variables such as I list that don't have any data to make to populate them with data to put data in there. We're going to set it equal to and it actually helps us out here. Get column. And now we need to put the name of the table. It's going to be a string. So that has to be in quotes and I already forgot, but thankfully I can go back here. Yep. Emoji data. Now make sure there's no extra spacing or anything like that. It has to be exactly perfect. Just like that. Uh, uh, and the column name, which yikes, don't know. Eyes. Okay. Mouth and extras. Cool. Okay. So that's the eye list. Let me do the other two and I'll talk about them. All right, so what's happening here? We're telling the computer, hey, you computer, I want a new variable. This variable is named iList. What is going to be saved here? Well, you got to get column data from what table? Emoji data and what column? Eyes. So then it's going to head over here and it's going to grab all of this stuff in this column. It then saves it to our list here. Same with mouse, same with the extra. So that's step one. Declare and initialize an index variable for the images. Since we have three different lists that contain eyes, mouth, extra images, we also need three different index variables. Index variables, guys, are how you keep track where you are in the list, right? We, if they select a certain set of eyes, we want to know, you know, if they select our second set of eyes, which would be an index of one. I know it's weird. Indexes start at zero, but it's fine. If we select a second set of eyes, we want to know that it's this one. And then they select the first mouth, which would be index zero. We want to be able to display that. We need to keep track of where we are in the list uh, for each one of those. Uh, we're probably going to be. I'm going to go ahead and default these to zero. So just the beginning of each list, since that's the first index in a list, it's the first item, but it's at index zero. OK, that looks good. Now that we have Destiny's images saved into list and their corresponding index variables initiated, we should write the function that will display the image associated with each index. OK, and that's here. Set image URL to eyes, mouth and extras times three. OK, so first I want to make sure this is not running and I'm going to hover over it. Notice this ID has extras. Now, why can't I see anything else? I button. So we must have one thing blocking. I'm going to just move this out of the way. I would not recommend doing that. It will get frustrating for you. Mouth and eyes. OK, so that's all the content. Now we want to be able to change that here. So update emoji set URL. So I'm going to do set image URL. Now what goes here? The ID. Well, like I just showed you, we actually have these, right? So this one has an ID of eyes. That was weird. This one has an ID of eyes. So I'm going to say set eyes. And then what am I going to set it equal to? Mm -hmm. We can just set it equal to the I index. We could do some funny math here as well. But right now I'm just going to do. And that's actually zero. Now let me hammer out the other ones. OK, so I have extra set to extra index mouth list set. To... Yep. So I'm setting the image. What this first one in is again, guys, it is the item over here on the screen. I'm asking the computer, hey, go grab that thing and actually change the image. Change it to what? Whatever is I list I index. So for me, I start that at zero. So whatever image this is, whatever image that takes us to, that's what will show up. Let's see if I can actually. 
And if you want, you can even download that image to see what it is just by copying and pasting it into your URL. I'll show you real quick. But ah, so those are those eyes. And that's what this is. We're loading in the images. Cool. So this all looks good now. Let's make sure, does this run upon start? And I have an issue here. Ah, extra list. Now let's see. Cool. So far, so good. I'm excited to see what else we can do with this. Onward.